Sharon, what's happened to your skirt? Oh, I bought it at lunchtime. Do you like it? Well, I don't rightly know. There's hardly enough of it for me to make up my mind. <laughs> You're not going to wear it in the office, I hope. Why not? Well, let's be honest, Sharon. It doesn't leave much to the imagination. Ah, well, short skirt at the back, anyway. They always say if you got it, flaunt it. Well, I wouldn't like you to flaunt it during working hours. You'll only inflame the lads. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> ah, that's the trouble with the modern generation. There's too much permissiveness. When I was your age, a boy used to take a girl out for months before he even asked her for a kiss. Today is hello, ducky. Let's have some nookie. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that pen? Hello, Sharon. Where's the old Welsh twit, then? <laughs> the old Welsh twit's here. <laughs> oh, hello, Stanley. What are you doing groping about on the floor? I am trying to find my pen. Oh, let me help you, huh? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, have you found it? Uh, no, Stan. I've, uh... I'd uh, trod on it. Uh, I have had that pen for years. Well, lucky it wasn't a new one. Um, Jock, um, <laughs> Jock said you wanted to see me. That's right, Mr. Johnson's been on the phone. Oh, not again. She's always on the phone. What's she complaining about now? Her tits. <laughs> Pardon? They've been at the top of the milk again. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, what's she want me to do? Pour the milk through the letterbox? <laughs> well, she said in future, could you leave it in the, in the coal bunker? Right, then it shall be done. <clears throat> Just a minute, I haven't finished yet. I mean, you haven't left any milk at the vicarage for three days. Oh, that's right. I didn't know what their requirements would be in view of their domestic situation. What domestic situation? Oh, the eternal triangle, Sharon. Another man. Right, first time, the scoutmaster. Saying to us, uh, don't tell me the vicar's wife has gone off with the scoutmaster. No, but the vicar has. <laughs> well, that's no reason to stop delivering their milk. Well, ever since uh, he's gone, she's gone a bit, you know, how's your father? Go on, I don't believe it. He's got a vivid imagination, Stan. Well, I did not imagine what happened on Monday morning. Well, what did happen? Well, I just put the milk down, right? Then she opened the door and just stood there with a, a dressing gown and a nighty. Well, that's not so terrible. It is. She had them over her arm. <laughs> Well, I was hard to afford to lose customers. Try creeping across the lawn so she won't hear you. Right. Uh, is that all now, Stanley? Can I go? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. <clears throat> oh, there's just one other thing. Yes. Ha! You know old Cyril's retiring today? Yes, we're taking him out for a farewell drink after he's finished his round. Well, I'm hoping to start his replacement tomorrow. The job centre is sending one or two people around later. Now, whoever I start can go out with you in the morning. Uh, no, I hate training people, Stanley. Well, we've all got to learn sometime, boy. Oh, I was not like the last fellow I had to train. Why? What happened? Well, he couldn't stand the early start. He went berserk one morning and started chucking bottles of milk through a car windscreen. Did you call the police? I didn't have to. It's a police car. <laughs> <laughs> Any more tea? Wilf? No, thanks. Got more respect than my stomach. Joe? Include me out. Jock! <laughs> Jock! <laughs> oh, just a wee dram for me. <laughs> We're talking about tea. Tea? Oh, no. I'm sorry I woke you up, Jock. Oh, I'm glad you did. I was having this terrible nightmare. Oh, yeah? What sort of nightmare? Well, I was working in this distillery and I, I fell into a vat full of whiskey. It was horrible. <laughs> What's so horrible about that? I was a teetotaler. <laughs> <laughs> ah, tea up. Jolly good. Thanks very much, Billy. <clears throat> that was mine. Well, that's plenty more in the pot. I believe. Put your name on it. Well, that doesn't always work. I did that once in a pub. I was halfway through my pint and I wanted to go to the loo. So I put a little note on the glass. Please do not drink this. I have put my finger in it. When I got back, the glass was empty. And someone had written, I have drunk your beer, but I did not find your finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can top that, Wolf. Yeah, I was having a, having a very nice meal in a very posh restaurant the other day, right? And I was just finishing off with a large brandy when, like you, Wolf, nature called. So 
I put a little note on the side of the brandy glass, right, warning, I have spat in this brandy. And when I got back, somebody else had written, so have I. Oh, <laughs> oh but it's a bit weak, this tea. I'll put a new tea bag in the pot. Here, yeah. what's a seven letter word for idiot? How many letters are there in Wilfred? Uh, seven. Seven, well, I rest my case. Oh. Anything uh, in the news, Joseph? Not a lot. He's been at it again. Who's been at what? Tony, what's it been? Oh, Wedgwood. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if he's any relation to the pottery people. It should be. He's got pots of money. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be a right honourable. You ask me, he's a right Burke. He's left of centre. Left of centre? He's left of left. I don't trust him. Why not? I'll tell you why not. Because he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Educated, at eaten, plenty of money, no worries, and he gives it all up. Shows he's dedicated. Dedicated? He's bloody barmy. <laughs> Oh, hi, up. Look at it, Speedy Gonzales. Here you come, son. Take your time. Go on. Go on. <coughs> <coughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, lads, I've done it. No wonder you're out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my last round. <laughs> oh, no, you haven't. Oh, yes, I have. I'm retired. <laughs> well, that may be, but you've still got one round to do. Hey, well, what's that? Five light ales at a red light. <laughs> Come on, everyone, lad. Come on, Cyril. Dawson's Dairies. Pardon? No, we're not the job centre. What? Oh, you're the job centre. <laughs> Mr Evans. Right, I'll call him. <coughs> Hello, yes, yes. Oh, I see, yes. Oh, well, of course. Well, under the circumstances, I suppose I shall have to accept. Yes, I thank you. Goodbye. Did they found your milkman then? Person, Cheryl. Pardon? They said at the job centre I wasn't allowed to, ad to advertise for a milkman. It had to be a milk person. Well, they found your milk person then. Oh, yes. They've only had one applicant for the job. Will he be starting tomorrow? No, but she will. She? That's right. They're sending me around a woman. All right, all right. I've only got one pair of hands. And he said, I'm waiting for a chain. <laughs> What's the difference between an egg and a bit of nookie? Don't know. You can't be a bit of nookie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I'm not surprised. <laughs> right, who's, uh, who's round with it? Yo! Oh, all right, all right, lads, all right. right here, uh, where's old squirrel gone? Oh, I think he's gone to the watson. Is he still there? What's he doing? Making out his will? Yeah, I'll go and see. <laughs> Same again, please, Harold. Come in up, Dave. Do you mind? Not if you don't. <laughs> Other people are waiting to be served. Oh, sorry, love. I'm not your love. But it's just an expression. Well, kindly keep it to yourself. Don't get your knickers in a twist. <laughs> Don't be so rude. You're a typical male chauvinist. You and your friends, loud and arrogant. Oh, well, we're just having a friendly drink. It's, um, it's a celebration. Oh, yes. I expect your wives are all at home, confined to the kitchen. Hmm? Yes, love, what can I get you besides excited? <laughs> You're a <laughs> Men! Excuse me. What was that all about, Dave? Uh, you used uh, four-letter words. Eh? Hey? Yeah, she doesn't like being called love, apparently. There we are. What's the damage? Three quid, Dave. Three quid, right. There we go. One, two, three. Keep the change. Thank you very much. Mon plaisir. Here we go, ladies. Oh, Thank you. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Any sign of Cyril? Nah. Here, here. The baby's gone to the ladies. <laughs> here he's coming. Oh, here he's coming. Well done, Joe. Oh. He's coming. <laughs> no, no, I've been back to the dairy for my pipe. Ah. Oh, I've got news for you lot. Oh, yes? It'll come as a shock. <laughs> it surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't believe it. Really? <laughs> Wait till you hear what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Squirrel, if we wait any longer, it's going to be bloody Christmas. <laughs> Stan's giving it to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> My 
job is giving it to a woman. Oh. He can't do that. Oh. Well, we don't want a woman milkman. Well, why not? She might be a little bit of all right. Little bits of all right are all right in the proper place, and that proper place is not our restroom. Here, here. Thank you very much, Wolf, but I mean, can you imagine? We won't be able to tell jokes anymore. She'll most probably make a shave before we go to work. Oh, no, lads, it's not on. Come on, drink up. Where are we going? We're going to see Stan and tell him we're not having a woman on our staff. Right, Wolf? Right, Dave. Billy? Whatever you say. Joe? Not me. I've got a date, man. Uh, Jock? Jock! Ah, <laughs> I'll <miss> him again. <laughs> I'm not talking about having a drink. I'm talking about having a woman. Oh, I don't think I could manage that. <laughs> Tenter! And what is all this thing? Oh, it's not payday, is it? You understand? <laughs> we are a deputation. <laughs> are you now? And what are you deputating? Rumour has reached us that you are contemplating hiring a female. It is not a rumour, it is a fact. We don't want you to do that. Oh, well, that is too bad, boy, because I've already done it. Sharon is just showing Miss Foster the ladies' room. She starts tomorrow. Come in, Joe, and meet some of your workmates. <laughs> <laughs> boys, boys, boys. Boys up with the love. Hello, Jock's here early. Early? He's been here all night. Look at him. <laughs> His missus won't be too pleased about that. Uh, she won't even have missed him. He spends more time at the pub than he does at home. Well, you can tell last week he went home, his dog bit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lad seems ashamed to wake him. Ashamed to wake him? Ashamed to... He's got his round to do. Come on. <laughs> Oi. Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, take me to go home. Time, time to, it's time to start work. Oh, Oh, I've got a terrible thirst. Here, have a glass of milk. Oh, I can't stand that stuff. Here, yeah, Billy, get him a cup of water. Where's his mug? It's that white one over there. Huh. Well, it's brown. Uh. Well, it was white when he bought it. Uh. Want to go on? Oh. Oh. What's up with you? Well, what, it, what, are you going to a wedding? I'm not going anywhere. What are you all punched up for? Look at him, the Sydney Poitier of Surbiton. <laughs> I've got it. The bird. Bird? What bird? Yeah, the one that's taking Cyril's place. Oh, that bird. Come on, you fancy your chances, don't you? Oh, listen, brothers. If opportunity is going to knock, I'm going to make sure the door is wide open. <laughs> well, when you see her, you'll soon shut it in a hurry. <laughs> One. What's she like? Well, let me describe her. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say she was pretty, and I wouldn't say she was ugly. What would you say, Dave? I'd say she's pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Joe. What happened to you? Did you lose a bet? <laughs> <laughs> here, is she not here yet, then? Nah. Here, maybe she's changed her mind. Well, I hope so. You do realise we'll be the only depot with a woman milkman. Here, we're supposed to call her a milk person. Milk person. It's ridiculous, milk person. I mean, why don't they go the whole hog and call Manchester Person Chester? Uh -huh. <laughs> or can you imagine Lonnie Donegan singing My Old Person's a Dust Person? <laughs> or, listening, or listening to the singing strings of Person Tavani. <laughs> it's emancipation gone mad. Or should I say a person <laughs> Come on, you lot. There are housewives out there waiting for their yoghurts. All right, all right, all right, Stanley. First of all, tell us who is going to take out our new milk person. Well, I thought that today, being our first day, she could stay in the depot, observe the routine. Oh, it's not going to work, Stan. I'm sure she's a very nice person. You'll see, after a few days, you'll wonder what all the fuss was about. Good morning. <laughs> well, I was just talking about you, Miss Foster. Really? Yes, I was just telling the lads that having you on the team wouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Oh, but I'm afraid it will. Oh, Flan Gotland. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm here, there will be no smoking. No drinking, no swearing or filthy talk, and no sexist posters. Oh, clan cobblers. <laughs> oh, there's a letter on your desk for you to sign, Stan. 
Oh, good. Is it the one I gave you yesterday? No, it's the one you gave me last week. Well, you'll have to speed up a bit, girl. When you started here, you told me you was a good typist. I do my best. Well, perhaps it might help if you use more than two, two fingers. <laughs> Did you finish the weekly returns yet? Oh, I say, our Miss Foster's done well. Yeah, she's doubled what old Cyril used to take. Do you think the lads are happier with her now? Well, I hope so. Mind you, there's going to be a bit of bother when they see what she's done to the rest room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> show me in the right place. <laughs> Look at it. He's got a Turkish brothel. Oh, <laughs> well, there you are. Well, what do you think? Not a lot. <laughs> Our tea mugs are gone. Oh, yes, I threw them out. You'll find cups and saucers in the end locker. Tea tastes much better from bone china. Oh! <laughs> well, I'm surprised you haven't got a mat out the front door for us to wipe our feet off. There'll be one there in the morning. <laughs> in the meantime, perhaps you wouldn't mind taking off your shoes. Hey, Bill, hey, Bill, hey. <laughs> What do you think this is, a mosque? We should try and keep our restroom clean and tidy. Your restroom? Pardon? We men are going to a restroom of our own. Are you? Yes, it's called the Red Lion. Come on, chaps. Right. Right on. <laughs> right. Anybody fancy the pictures this afternoon? Not me. I'm going to have a nice, long, hot bath. Got a date, eh? You bet, Billy. A very heavy date. Oh, a very heavy date, so it'd be that big fat bird down the fish shop there. <laughs> Excuse me, lad. I'd just like to point out that this is a public house, and we make our living by selling drinks. You've been here half an hour, and all you've had is one bottle of light oh, ale. Keep your shirt on, Harold. We're going in a minute, all right? Here. He's not going to like us using this place as a restroom. Well, has anybody else got any better suggestions? I, I've got a suggestion. Ah, Jock's going to get us out of trouble, right? Yes, 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 Jock. Give me another drink. <laughs> Jock, I'm talking about our iron lady down at the depot. We've got we to try and get rid of her. Yeah, I'd rather have the wife working here than her. Yeah, it's against the rules, though. What is? Husbands and wives working together. Is it? Yeah. Remember Charlie Tyson down at Market Street? Well, he married Rita. The office girl, wasn't he? She had to leave. Never mind marrying Rita the office girl and having to... Married Rita the office girl and had to leave, you say? Yeah, Mr. Dawson won't have husbands and wives working together. Well, that's it! would do what Charlie Tyson did with Rita. Well, Charlie won't be very happy about that, Dave. <laughs> but it, don't you see, if one of us proposes to her, she'll have to leave. That's a bit drastic. It's only a temporary measure. Once uh, she's left, the engagement is broken off. Well, that sounds all right. Yes, it's worth a try. Uh, so what we're going to do now is decide which one of us is going to propose to her. Look no further. And you're going to do it. No, nope, you are. Me? <laughs> you thought of it. Besides, she quite likes you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. No, no, Joe's right. She does seem to fancy you. You're wrong. No, Dave. <laughs> I've seen her looking at you this week. <laughs> but, 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 but you're mistaken. <laughs> it's the actual opposite. Oh, now, listen, chaps. Now, I okay. propose Brother Dave here for the job. And I second that. All those in favor? Oh, uh, carry <laughs> unanimously. Uh, against? <laughs> <laughs> Um, hello. Hello. I've just made some tea. Would you like some? Oh, uh, no, 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 thanks. Um. Artistic. Well, you do surprise me. You'll be telling me next you like me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yes. How nice. Come and sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Beside me. Do you really like me? Yeah, yes. Then why have you behaved so beastly? Well, I just... I just don't want the other chaps to find out. Oh. 
What a dear boy you are. <laughs> I'll tell you something now, David. <laughs> yes? <laughs> I find you extremely attractive. Oh, you, uh, you, 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 you do? <laughs> yes, I do. You have an incredibly large potential. <laughs> Pardon? You have a kind of animal magnetism. Grrr. Oh, that's nice. You're so young and vital. Well, some of the other girls do it. Ah! Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, well, I'm fine. Let me I'm, fine. Help you. I'm so glad we're friends. Yes, well, I'm glad you're glad. Who knows? Maybe one day we can be more than just friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, well. <laughs> Is that actually what I want to talk to you about? Yes, Dave. Oh. I was... I was wondering whether... You and me, I was wondering... Whether you could... I uh, wonder whether we could, um... What, here? No, 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 I was wondering whether you'd like to... Mm, mm, mm. Yes, David. I wonder whether you'd like to... Mm, mm, <laughs> Manage a cup of tea. Oh, no, thank you. I think I bloody will. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> look, look, there's something, there's something I've, I've got to ask you. Yes, David. I wonder whether you'd accept my ha hand. Well, I wonder if you'd like to walk down the, um, um, how do you feel about getting engaged? Engaged? Yes. To you? Yes. Isn't it a bit sudden? I always was a bit impulsive. No, it would seem. Well, what do you say? Really, David? In view of the fact that we hardly know each other, to say nothing of our difference in ages, there's only one thing I can say. Yes? I accept! Excuse me, Stan. I thought you'd gone off. Oh, no, you know how I hate to leave this place. As a matter of fact, I've got a little bit of news for you. Well, go on. Now, first of all, is it or is it not true that old Mr. Dawson hates wives and husbands working together? That is correct. In which case, I have to inform you that I'm engaged to a member of the staff, Sharon. It's not me. Well, you haven't got all funny and proposed marriage to Big Joe, have you? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> God forbid. No, it's, it's me and Joan. Miss Foster, I don't believe it. It's true. Well, I'll go to Aberystwyth. And I'll come with you. <laughs> You're not pulling my leg, are you? No. Ask the lads. Ask Joni. Oh, well, in that case, it looks as if I've got no option. Oh, good, good. Oh, do you have to, Stan? Oh, yes, rules is rules, and Mr. Dawson is very strict about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall I tell her or show you? Tell her what? Well, well she's going to leave. She's not going, boy. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he'd be here. <laughs> well, Dave, you did it. Uh, you're telling me I did it. I don't you understand, Dave. Are you drunk or something? She's leaving. Eh? Yeah. When we heard you got the chop, we told her to understand the truth. And she said she wouldn't work where she wasn't wanted. So she's left. And you, my son, are reinstated. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Get him in. Get a drink, please. Oh, there you are. You despicable little man. Oh, look, look, look. I'm... I'm, I'm don't so... you speak to me, you... You! Rutter! Rutter! Chauvinist pig! Chauvinist pig! Silly bird! Silly bird! Whose side are you on? <laughs> You're nothing but a sheep in wolf's clothing. Well, I said I'm sorry. Let me get you a drink. Oh, no. You have one on me. Well, that's not necessary, is it? I mean, considering... Oh! <laughs> Robin Asquith is currently appearing in Run For Your Wife at the Criterion Theatre in London.
Sharon, what's happened to your skirt? Oh, I bought it at lunchtime. Do you like it? Well, I don't rightly know. There's hardly enough of it for me to make up my mind. <laughs> You're not going to wear it in the office, I hope. Why not? Well, let's be honest, Sharon. It doesn't leave much to the imagination. Ah, well, shorter skirt at the back, anyway. They always say if you got it, flaunt it. Well, I wouldn't like you to flaunt it during working hours. You'll only inflame the lads. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> uh, that's the trouble with the modern generation. There's too much permissiveness. When I was your age, a boy used to take a girl out for months before he even asked her for a kiss. Today is hello, ducky. Let's have some nookie. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that pen? Hello, Sharon. Where's the old Welsh twit then? <laughs> the old Welsh twit's here. <laughs> oh, hello, Stanley. What are you doing groping about on the floor? I am trying to find my pen. Oh, let me help you. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, have you found it? Uh, no, Stan. I've. Uh... I'd uh, trod on it. Uh, <laughs> I have had that pen for years. Well, lucky it wasn't a new one. Um, Jock, um, <laughs> Jock said you wanted to see me. That's right, Mr. Johnson's been on the phone. Oh, not again. She's always on the phone. What's she complaining about now? Her tits. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> They've been at the top of the milk again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, um, what's she want me to do? Pour the milk through the letterbox? <laughs> well, she said in future, could you leave it in the, in the coal bunker? Right, then it shall be done. <clears throat> Just a minute, I haven't finished yet. I mean, you haven't left any milk at the vicarage for three days. Oh, that's right. I didn't know what their requirements would be in view of their domestic situation. What 